Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. That's right, today another interesting subject, well at least interesting to me, and I hope it's interesting to you. Alright, so video games in the Oscars, it's the way it should be. Let me make my case. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you guys know that I consider video games a form of art. But before you label my premise completely outrageous or just right out crazy, just hear me out. Video games have evolved over the last 40 years to become something more than just bits on a screen, right? More than just Pac-Man, more than just uh, Sonic, or just maybe great storylines on text RPGs. In every sense of the word, video games have been introducing more and more of the arts into their DNA. Many of the things that make a good game great, and many great games classics, we take for granted. The work and dedication that artists put into these games, and I'm calling them artists because they are, they need to be rewarded not only monetarily, just as they do in movies because a lot of times they're getting underpaid, but also recognized publicly for the great work they do, it is time that the video game industry gets into the academies of arts and give them the critical and public recognition that they deserve. All right, I've been thinking about this for a long time and I was waiting for the right examples to give to solidify my argument, but I've just been so busy, you know, with work and everything else. But uh, I've been putting a lot of time into particular game and my inspiration came into when I was playing Middle Earth Shadows of Mordor, right? This game is about four years old. It's not a it's not a new game. But whatever you want to say about the combat system, story, game mechanics, whatever else you want to insert here, the stars of the show are the Uruk. Hands down. Hands down, right? If you've ever played if you've never played the series let me tell you, you have to play it, right? If you're a fan of Lord of the Rings, you know, you've probably already played it. But even if you're not, I'm telling you, if, if you're not, play this game. And uh, the storytelling is pretty awesome, right? I'm telling you right now, for the price of the Xbox Game Pass, it is well worth it. You have games like this and other games, other great games in there. So, uh, you know, that's not, not getting paid for it or link or anything like that I'm just telling you it's one of the best values out there you know how good is the voice acting in this game let me tell you I didn't mind dying sometimes just to find out what the the Uruks were up to after they defeated me right because they have their own things going on right they, they're fighting for power they're fighting each other they're bullying each other and then you just really get into the the social um, hierarchy of the Uruks there's enough variety in the enemies that you look forward to every encounter. And I'm telling you, one of the things I, I just look forward to every time is when they start calling you mad filth. <laughs> and I can't do the voice acting justice. The voice acting in this game, for me, turns this game from an 8.5 to a 9.5. No problem. The only reason I don't give this game a 10 is because I wanted more. I wanted more voice acting. I wanted more characters. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty here. There's plenty here, right? But I just couldn't get enough. And I know there's other games, but you know I'll, I'll uh, continue playing. But this is this was my inspiration for for making this video in this particular subject. And you can think, well, that's just an experience you have with a particular game. Maybe that game impressed you. But it's only one game. And if you think that, you would be mistaken. Okay? This has been happening in video games for a long time now. Can you imagine? anyone else besides David Hayter voicing Solid Snake. David Hayter is beloved. Now this is an accomplished man, right? He's he's written, for example, the movie The Watchmen, right? But one my favorite, my favorite hands down uh, superhero movie is The Watchmen. Um, but most people don't love him for that. They love him for being Snake, right? You have adults now loving this man's performance and how can you not call that art that game would not have been as successful 
as it was, I believe if you had somebody else voicing that character, right? Because he nailed it. He nailed that character. And as soon as they changed them, you know, <laughs> Konami heard about it right away, right? Um, but yeah, but that's, that's not the only example I can give. Uh, what about Troy Barker, Last of Us, or, or um, Nolan North, Uncharted? Uh, what and one maybe someone a game not a lot of people played but you know I think it's a great game James McCaffrey and Max Payne 3 right those are those are actors that that um, that contributed to games and in a very positive way that made them experience right it made them experiences that, that we wanted but I'll give you an example more recently right the old voice of Kratos right voice actor um, Terrence Carson he was replaced. You can go back on Screen Rant and look this up. I'm going to paraphrase him, but I want to give them credit for the article because that's where I read it. It's uh, ScreenRant.com, and you can look up God of War. Uh, when they repla when they replaced voice actor Terrence Carson, they replaced him with uh, Christopher Judge. You might remember him, for example, from uh, Stargate Nine. But anyway. Um, the main reason they replaced him wasn't because of the voice. It was because of motion capture, right? The size difference between Terrence and Kratos is, is enormous, right? Kratos is a, is a big, muscular guy. So to get this motion capture going, you would have to reshoot every scene, right? You couldn't do it in one shot. So now you have to get a specific actor, not only with with the particular talents of, of voice acting, but also his appearance has to match the character, right? We've had video games based on movies that have had nothing to do with one another, but now more and more, it will become more integrated. For example, as movie studios and act actors, they try to maximize the availability of work and profits, right? It just makes sense. You know, we've had great voice acting legacies throughout the years, right? I just gave you some examples. But there's also, guys, now we have scripts, we have acting, music, and, and so much more that goes into this, you know, graphic arts. I mean, just, there's just a bunch of things, right? And I hope that the art community catches up with the times. The Oscars, the Oscars as we knew them, they're dying because more, more and more people are watching their media in, in other forms other than movies and less and less people are interested in focusing only on movies video games are bigger than movies now and are giving artists and other another platform to display their talents i hope the oscars start looking at the performing arts in video games at the arts in general in video games so they don't become completely irrelevant to the newer generations. Just like they introduced animation back in the day, they need to embrace the video game industry. And, it, and it's true for the younger generations. I can tell you, the very first time that I knew anything about the Oscars, right? When I was a little kid, the first time that I became familiar with the Oscars was a Bugs Bunny cartoon, when he was talking about them. When, um, Back in the day, you know, they would <laughs> that would make satire of the artist. But anyway, guys, that those are my thoughts for today. You know, I want to put uh, content out there that makes us think. I mean, there's so much of the same thing, right? There's so much of the drama. There's so much of the negativity. There's so much of the e-begging that I really want to put forward, you know, videos that people that really love video games, right? That, that we're looking at video games as a whole that we're really interested in the ins and outs and appreciating the video games for what they are. Now, I'm doing it through the lens of a Gen X gamer, right? I look at everything with nostalgia because I look at where we came from and where we're going, right? And not everything's bad, you know? And, and, and a lot of times, because of the nature of, of YouTube, negativity has to be at the forefront because if you're not negative, you're just not going to get the views. I mean, that's just... That's just the way it is, right? <laughs> We're a nation of haters. 
Um, no, but you know, I'd rather share my thoughts with people that have my same interests, right? That have a positive outlook on things that don't have time for this. I mean, I don't have time nowadays working six days a week to sit there and sit through a bunch of negative stuff. I really like to focus on the, the video games that I'm playing and what I appreciate about, appreciate about them and get the positives out of the industry. I don't talk about every video game because I don't enjoy every video game, right? But the ones I do enjoy, the ones that inspire me, those are the ones that I'm going to talk about. All right, humans, remember, I will see you next week. I might put another video out this week if I have time to write. And I probably will, but I don't want to promise anything because, you know, time is at a premium right now. Remember what I always tell you. Never, ever be afraid to be happy. Don't forget to catch me on Twitter uh, at GenXGamer. That's at GenX underscore Gamer underscore. And you can catch me on Xbox right now at GenXGamer1986. I'm also on Nintendo. You can hit me up on, on Twitter if you want that code and we can play there. I'm on the Switch, but I'm not on that as much recently because I just haven't had time, but I'm doing a lot of Smash Brothers in there. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Gen X Gamer. Remember to like and subscribe, click the notification bell, and remember, never be afraid to be happy. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.